Hello and welcome to our training video introducing Schrodinger's 2D Sketcher. Our starting structure here is ibuprofen. Please feel free to pull in or draw any structure to follow along with this training. Press spacebar on your keyboard to activate the square marquee tool. This tool can also be activated by clicking. Notice that once you have a selection, the side palettes update to highlight only those edit actions that can be used with the current selection. Watch the palettes as I select only an atom, or only a bond. The select tool is best for when you already have an existing structure and you want to copy and paste part of it, move around a piece of it, or delete your current selection. Note that I have been using mouse and keyboard shortcuts to perform these actions, but the palette tools can always be used instead. Draw tools are used primarily for drawing a new structure. We're going to demonstrate this by drawing acyclovir. This structure can be drawn entirely by clicking Draw Tools on the palette, or more efficiently, by once again using keyboard shortcuts. For instance, press 2 on your keyboard when hovering over a bond to quickly change bond order. This also works for 1 or 3. For this last double bond, I'll demonstrate taking a quick action using the Bond right-click menu. Right-click menus work regardless of the tool on your cursor. For multiple carbons in a chain, it may make sense to use the bond chain tool. With five bonds here, drag until you see a five and then release the mouse. To perform heteroatom changes, I'll again use shortcut keys. Type O to assign oxygen. Notice O is now indicated beside the cursor. From here, you may drag out a new bond to oxygen and then click once to double it. Similarly, to add nitrogens, Press the N key and click the structure for each. To demonstrate yet another shortcut, press spacebar to select, hold down shift, and click each remaining atom we wish to modify. Now press O on the keyboard, or click O on the palette. Both selected atoms have changed to oxygen. Now that I've finished drawing, it's best practice to clean up the structure. This may flip its orientation by default. If you have a preferred orientation for drawing, you may right-click on the background and choose Flip Horizontal or Flip Vertical. If at any point you would like to clear your selection, click None under the Selection menu, or click on the background. To move the structure around and rotate it without changing tools, we recommend using a three-button mouse with a scroll wheel. If I press and hold the wheel and turn, I see this rotation. Dragging with the right mouse button does the translation. These actions also work on selected portions of your compound. Trackpad users can drag with two fingers to do the translation, and for any user, the Move tool can be used to rotate the compound. This lets you drag with your left mouse button to do the rotation where indicated. If you drag starting from anywhere else, you perform a translation. If you have a selection and then click the Move tool, then only the selected portion of your molecule will be moved when you drag inside the box. If you press and drag outside the selection box, you will again translate the whole structure as if there were a new selection. The final topic to cover is context menus. Right-clicking on a single bond or atom opens the appropriate context menu. On a trackpad, you can use a two-finger click to open the context menu. Here's the atom menu, and here's the bond menu. When you have both bonds and atoms selected, you are shown a combined menu. There is also a context menu on the blank drawing area, shown earlier. And that's it for today. Please see the 2D Sketcher documentation and quick reference sheet for more information.